Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, I did manage to get the base of the seat made, all cushioned up, and actually feels kind of nice. But it doesn't have a mount. So I need to put something on the base here so that I can attach it to the frame. I could drill the 3 8 hole through the frame by hand. We all know I have the capability and the tools and I just don't have the inclination today. Uh, power tools have their place. One of those places is when you have to do uh, a 3 8 diameter hole through a piece of 8 inch steel twice. You young guys, go for it. Myself, I've got a battery operated drill. I'm gonna just use that. I'm not gonna try and punch through the 3 8 drill and drill the hole all at once. It's a lot easier and better job if you do a small pilot hole and then put your 3 8 drill bit through it afterwards. This little automatic prick punch works very nicely for it. Puts a little punch right in there, easy enough. I take this center punch. Strike a mark right there. Now the reason I use the center punch is the tip on the center punch is at 90 degrees. On a prick punch, it's at 60. The tip on a standard drill bit is ground at 89 degrees. That means it drops right into a little pocket put in by a center punch very easily. There we go. Two nice big 3 8 holes through there. That should do quite nice. Now that I've got those holes drilled, I need to put some mounting holes. For that, I'm going to use the Yankee 75, just because I can. Since we're going to be putting flathead screws in there, I'm going to countersink the holes.
going to mark a center line on this so that I've got it centered on the frame. And since I've got a nice center line down the center of this when I laid it out, I can do that quite easily. Just line up that mark with a mark on the seat itself and I've got them centered right up. I can come in here with the brace and run those screws down. Okay, we got that mounted. I'll come over here and put it onto the frame. I'll just spin the nut on it. tighten the bolt down. There. Okay, time to try out the new seat. See how this works. It's already more comfortable. Start the water. I think it's working really well. I got enough clearance that my legs aren't hitting on it. And the cushioning is definitely a plus. So I'm going to spend a little time on this, but you guys can go out and do other things. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.